So about a week ago, I got a comment on one of my videos asking me to do something about the Raspberry Pi 4, please, which actually sounded pretty cool. But unfortunately, I didn't have a Raspberry Pi 4 and no later than three days go by and I get a mysterious box in the mail with a gift bag inside, along with a message coercing me to see my titties. And after caving to peer pressure and feeling ashamed of myself, I did the only thing that I thought was right, and that was to make a video of me setting it up. So let's get right into it. Oh, and Minty, I didn't forget about you. Now that that intro's over, we can get right into the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This is a uh, starter kit that I got in the mail. And uh, I'm actually doing this with an X-Acto knife just because I don't feel like using scissors or anything like that. Haven't opened it, haven't touched it, don't really know what's inside. I mean, what's the best way for a noob to teach other noobs how to set this bad boy up than to just wing it? So we got the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Just trying to so you guys can see that. Um, cute little frame, you know? Could put a picture in that. Um, got the quick start guide that's also in this. Probably a bunch of crap all on the inside. Oh yeah. Probably don't open it the way that I do. So you got your HDMI cable with the micro HDMI adapter on the end. Uh, you also got your fan that comes included. Um, huh. I guess this comes with two uh, HDMI, two micro HDMI uh, cables in this, so that's pretty neat. It also comes with a screwdriver. Not sure what I need that for. I've uh, got a bag full of heat sinks. Your power supply, which, yeah, looks like it comes with a on and off switch right here. So that's pretty cool. And your Raspberry Pi case. Hmm. What the hell? Oh, and this is our micro SD card reader along with the SD card itself. So, where do we get started? I guess the uh, first thing I'm going to do here is open up the case. Huh, which is apparently harder to open than what I thought. There's some screws, it sounds like, on the inside here. So, what can I do? How do I open this? I just pry it open? Is there a... Oh, yep, okay, so it just unsnaps, so that's good. Uh, looks like it just comes with a bunch of little screws. Or Raspberry Pi board. And this one is for the fan, apparently, so I guess it just doesn't click in. I'm going to have to actually screw these bitches in. So let's put that to the side. And let's get to what we all came here for. So, this is the Raspberry Pi 4. Um... Not sure if I can get up close without it starting to blur, but you can see here, I might just take pictures later so you guys can see up close. Um, like we got our AV slot, um, your two HDMI ports, micro HDMI ports. Um, you got two USB 2.0 slots, two USB 3.0 slots, uh, ethernet port, and, uh, yeah, looks like probably plug all the fans and shit into this. So I guess the, the first thing we're going to do is probably just install the heat sinks. So let's get right down to that. All right. So 
The uh, next thing we're going to do is install the heatsinks. I think it's pretty obvious. You, you can tell by the size difference on these. See if I can get it not to, to blur here. Fat one goes with a fat one. Long one goes with a long one. Small one goes with the small one. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. The problem is I have these fat sausage fingers, so see how well that goes. So there is an adhesive on the back of the heat sink here. I'm just going to try to peel that off. and try not to let this drop on the floor and impale me in my foot. And then this will go. Okay. I think it might go a long way. Yep, so got that one done. Now we got a, another one here. Okay, we'll install that into the next one. I'll uh, I'll include links to everything here, so if anybody wants to purchase this kit, they can. And then you can follow me on the setup, bro. Follow me on the tubes, bro. This one's gonna be a bitch. This one's a little tiny ass one. Surprisingly, could have been worse. All right, we got our heat sinks installed. So uh, I think the next thing what I'm gonna do here is pop this bad boy in the case. One thing I also didn't show is that the uh, micro SD is on the back of the motherboard here. So we're gonna do that part last because it looks like it's got a slot reader on the case right here. So do that first. So, let's see, I would assume we'd pop it in maybe this way. Not quite. A little flush here. All right, so now that we have our case properly sitting in here, which actually took me quite a bit of time, it really had a hard time fitting in this thing. But uh, I went ahead and I put in one screw over here in the corner. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the other ones put in. Um, if I can get this in the light for you guys, uh, you can see that there is a screw here in the corner. There's uh, another one over here. And this one I already put in. And there is one more over here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll probably just fast forward through me screwing all this stuff in. Okay, now that that's done, you can kind of see that everything's sitting relatively flush in here. You got your, uh, all your ports on the side here. Can I zoom it? Yeah, there you go. Nice and, nice and clear. So, um, now that that's set up, they actually gave me one extra screw, so I'll put that back in the bag. Uh, even though you may be watching this and thinking, oh, you know, I'll just copy what he does. It's always kind of important that you read the manual because I, I thought I had the fan all good to go. I thought I figured out, you know, I could just plug this in and I knew where it went. I was wrong. It's actually different than other Raspberry Pi 4 videos that I've seen. So uh, we're going to set up the fan next and uh, I'll show you what I kind of did differently. In one of the videos that I watched, I was supposed to set it up on pin 4 and 6. And on this one, we're actually setting it up on pin 1 and 6. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And, uh, I may uh, take some pictures and stuff and include them in here so you guys can see. So, for the fan, facing this way, red wire is going to go in pin 1. That would be here. And the black wire is going to go on pin six. Okay, now that we got that situated, 
Uh, we're going to try installing the fan here. I have to figure out how it sits in this bad boy. Like that. Pop it in right on the pins there. Now I do have some screws from this as well, so I'm just going to go ahead and screw in these four corners. And uh, I'll get right back. Alright, so we're back. I got the uh, the fan all situated here. Uh, the only thing, honestly, that I think we have left to do is just pop it all together and put on our cables, hook up our monitor, our keyboard. So, uh, oh yeah, and we also have our micro SD card, which has the program Noobs installed. Uh, being real with you guys, I'm new to all this, so we'll figure out this part together as well. Alright, so now we just have to put the uh, case together here. Gotta make sure the wires from the fans are in there properly. And if it just snaps together, I don't want to press too hard, I don't want to break anything. Yep. And just like that, we have our case all done. And uh, everything's looking pretty nice. It looks like it even has a little mount here if you want to screw this onto something. Um, now, I think the next thing that I'll do is pop in our SD card. take this put it right through the back as you can see barely sticking out there but that's in all right so let's go ahead and untie this HDMI here so when you plug this in this is going to be going into the slot zero port to get your monitor to work so if you do this don't plug it into HDMI one oh, it's even got the plugs on the end here Okay, and micro HDMI. So, I know I said plug it into slot zero, but this one actually doesn't have it labeled as slot zero, but I believe on the Pi board itself it is. So I guess I'm gonna wing it and just plug it into the first port here. That's good. Next up. We have our power supply that we've yet to open. Alright, so, you can see uh, on this here, you actually have your power switch, so you can turn this thing on and off. And, uh... It's got the USB type C port right here. I'll get that so you can see it there. Plug that in. That's good to go. Now all we gotta do is plug it into an outlet. And uh, the only things that I have left to do that I'm really not gonna show you how to do because it could be self, it should be self explanatory. Uh, we're gonna be doing a keyboard and mouse in the USB 2.0 slots. And then we're going to get right over to the computer so we can figure out how to install noobs. So uh, let's go ahead and get over to that. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. Before you start using it, there are a few things to set up. Press next. Okay. Select country, uh, United States, American English, time code. I think I, where's, where the fuck is New York? Where the fuck are, there it is. Uh, use English language. Yeah. Use US keyboard. Yeah. All right, setting location. The default Pi user account currently has the password as a Raspberry. I strongly recommend that you change this. Okay, so I guess we will uh, change the password. Okay, the desktop should fill the entire screen. Uh, it kind of doesn't. The screen shows a black border around the desktop. Press next to save your settings. <laughs> okay, so I clicked the box and didn't fix that issue, but I guess that's all right. So now I guess it's gonna connect us through the Wi-Fi. 
So we'll go ahead and get connected to that. Update software. Okay. So, so far, overall, this was really easy to set up. And now I can do so many more tutorials! Yay! So, uh, we're gonna let this keep installing, and, uh, I'll come back when it's all done. Okay, we're back, and, uh, everything seems to be done, says system up to date. That took a long time, guys. Like, I was sitting here for maybe 35, 40 minutes waiting for this shit to be done, so just be prepared for that when, uh, you go to install all this. So, the next thing I want to do is fix this fucking desktop border. Throw an applications, click the raspberry icon, uh, top left corner of the screen, open the menu, press restart to restart your Pi now, so there's this thing to take effect. Okay, well maybe a restart will fix this, so I'm gonna hit the restart button and we'll come back and see what happens. Okay, so now that the restart is done, everything seems to be fixed now. We actually have the border all set on this. Uh, I know we gotta hit the raspberry button, so I mean, look at all this. Programming. There's a lot of things that I don't know how to use, but I'm actually looking forward to. There's like tons of projects that are like running through my head that I want to take a look at. Um, internet, Chromium web browser, Office, education. So uh, this is really cool. So uh, in the future, I'm obviously definitely going to be putting some emulators on this and just seeing how this works as a gaming system. Um, but if, if you guys are interested in buying this, this is the Lab Assist starter kit for Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so it looks like it's actually $110, so it's a little pricey, but honestly, it, it's kind of worth it. Everything comes put together. I didn't have to really install anything or do anything with the uh, the micro SD. It was, everything was just plug and play, ready to go. So, definitely. I'd definitely give this kit a, a shot if you got the extra money on the side. So, with that being said, if you guys are interested in more content like this, leave a comment below. Don't be afraid to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what kind of content you guys want to see me cover next. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.